get a mic check? <laughs> Whoa, way too loud, way too loud. Everybody here with Trevor and uh, getting him trained up on the old nut buggy we call it because Kyle um, took the day off he's a uh, real big into Dungeons and Dragons the old old board game so uh, a bunch of his buddies I guess they're mean to Panama City having a big tournament um, so anyways Trevor is uh, filling in for him did a great job and uh, did, hasn't spilled the first peanut yet although you've only dumped once but how was that experience it was very sketchy yep a lot of weight up there. A, a lot, lot of weight. weight. Uh, Got to get it pretty close to the trailers too. Yes. Uh, so. so that's a little sketchy, but I feel like the more you do it, the better you get at it. Oh yeah, but well, once you get some tracks laid out, like I said, then you just follow your tracks. As long as you keep your, your front tire straight, you're good. So that's what we're doing. We're uh, again, picking this dry land field. Guys uh, had a pretty good day yesterday. Knocked out about maybe, I don't know, 25 acres or so and uh, everything go well today, we should knock the rest of it out. I'll get you at the end, Jeff. The wind's blowing. If the wind's in the background, I apologize. Woo! It's coming on. Perfect. you did a great job thank you yeah look how high tech we are there's you looking at me looking, looking at, at the you. camera looking at the camera oh my gosh all right camera reception hey what kind of cowboy hat is that it is a texas hat company it sounds generic it is don't spill them i won't put your back into it If you're watching for home, I need you to cross your fingers for me. This is Trevor's first time loading the semi completely by himself. Uh, I think he's gonna do great. Well, Jim rigged me up a nice little camera right here. He told me I can talk about whatever I wanted to, and I just really wanted to address the cowboy hat. Now, I've never dealt really with cattle that much at all. I don't deal with cattle, and I'll be upfront about that. I'm I wouldn't claim myself to be a cowboy. We could have had a good life together. The cowboy hat really is just out here. I wear it out here most time. I wear it in public sometimes if I got a nice little dress shirt, a pair of ostrich skin boots. I really just wear this cowboy hat because the sun is hot out here and uh, I'll say that again. Hold on, let them get finished talking. But I really just wear this cowboy hat because sun and uh, sun damage on your face. Uh, kind of keeps the sun off your face so you're not getting sunburned all the time. One downfall of the cowboy hat though is I have to take it off a lot because I mean obviously if you're changing uh, the blades on the shaker and inverter it's gonna get tied up in there and you're just hitting your head and this wide brim is gonna hit everything that it can find. Regular hats don't really do a lot for your neck uh, unless you've got it backwards. And I don't like wearing my hat backwards, so just switch to a cowboy hat. Seems to fit, looks okay. Nice little signature for me. Uh, Jim's, Jim and all the guys on the farm have been saying that I look like Gillen Hall from Bro Brokeback Mountain. Uh, 
I've never watched that movie. I know what he's talking about. I know it's, they think it's funny, but it doesn't bother me at all. Hey Trevor, make sure that red light is blinking on that camera. Sometimes it'll time out. It's acting funny. What have I told you about when I'm filming? Me so sorry. But, yeah. So, no, not a real cowboy. Don't deal with cows. Don't ride horses. I have rode a horse before, but don't ride horses. So don't own a horse. It is what it is. But So yeah, um, just like to get y'all's opinion on it. What do y'all think about the cowboy hat? Do y'all think that ca cowboys only and people that deal with cows or horses should only be able to wear a cowboy hat or do you feel like it should be for a lot of different people? I mean, anybody who's really in the sun a lot. All right, looks like Trevor has dumped out his first official load of peanuts. Looks like it went all right. Uh, I like to hear everybody's opinion on it. Just because you put it in the comments, though, doesn't mean I'm going to quit wearing the cowboy hat. Uh, I like the cowboy hat. Keeps it off my face all the sun. So just let me know in the comments what y'all think about it. Do you think that farmers or farm help should be able to wear a cowboy hat? Nope, oh, Jim's coming up now. How'd it go? <laughs> it went okay. It went good? It went good. I don't Smooth. see any on the ground. So, good job. Are they, is it dumping pops in there too? I mean, there'll be a couple pops in there. I, mean, I see some of them out. like float. Flying down, yeah. yeah I'm like, you can't get them all out. Yeah. No. Tip four. We're good. Do I, do I need to fill up the rest of that one or do I need to? Yeah, well, we'll just focus on this one. So we'll do another kind of almost to the middle. The third one will be a little bit further. Uh, and that'll be it. There'll be four dumps on them. Got All right, I think he didn't spill any peanuts, but let's just check and make sure. Not a drop. Ladies and gentlemen, wow. I think Kyle may have a run for his money. We are moving right along. Not sure how well you can hear me. The wind's blowing pretty good. So we got the media mods uh, filming on a GoPro 8, which now the GoPro 11 is out. But it usually does a pretty good job. But if all you hear is, bah, 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 I'm sorry, but I wanted to show you this. So you can see here, this looks like a spot that was just uh, barely halfway plowed up. And uh, that's what happens once it gets so dry. Uh, yeah, you can't even get them out of the ground. We were changing blades every four to five acres toward the end. And uh, still, some spots just had to completely leave, like this one, that, uh, yeah, it is what it is. can't even get them kind of get them out of the ground yeah today's bible verse is going to be for the field roast channel james oh james 1 12 blessed is the one who perseveres under trials because having stood the test that person will receive the crown of life that the lord has promised to those who love him so keep on going no matter what trials you face or the struggles that you have keep on going through it it all works out in the end. Okay, I'm headed to the uh, peanut mill now. Got a sample of some uh, peanuts that were uh, just not sure what the moisture is. So if your peanuts are too high moisture, it costs you a lot of money to dry them. So we try to pick about maybe 17%. And uh, so we're gonna check, make sure they're not too high. 
All right, we are approaching the peanut mill, both sides of the road. This is where they bring all the peanuts. This is where they weigh them, sample them, all that stuff. And then on this side is where they store them. So you got your two massive warehouses. Got a trailer there now that they're dumping in. Why don't we just head over there? So this could be one of our trailers. Let's pretend that it is. So they just got this trailer from our field and now they have already graded it, they've dried it, everything's good. It was probably some of the best peanuts that they've ever, ever had. And now they are dumping it into the warehouse. The whole trailer and all, look at that. Ah. There's two trailers on the dryer. They're super loud. And I think they dry them down to like 9%. All right, here's my sample. Let's shell them, see what they are. This is Lee, he's the professional peanut sheller. Uh, Feels good in here. Oh yeah. Let's see what we got. I'm gonna say uh, 19 and a half. It's always hard to tell. I know, sometimes it surprises you. <laughs> oh, way yeah. off, 24. I would have never thought that. <laughs> never, not in <laughs> years. All right, so that was 24.5%. So yeah, we're gonna wait. So we'll just wait one day and tomorrow they'll be, you know, 18%. All right, guys and girls, that is it. This is the end of the video. Trevor, you did a great job. Thanks for watching. Jesus loves you guys. Use the code HARVEST22, farmfocus.com. You can uh, save 22% on any field rows, hat, shirts, stickers, sweatshirts, uh, Randy shirts, all that. So keep in the field rows. We'll see you. Bye.